Hi everyone, my name is Greg, and I'll be your host for tonight. So, okay, so a little bit about myself. I'm a business consultant, and I'm a geek. And uh, aside from work, I'm a hopeless internet addict, and I'm a magnet. I like Apple stuff a lot, so this is me. And so. The tr uh, Ignite Taipei, the tradition dictates that the host will give the first talk to demonstrate how the Ignite talks are conducted. So tonight, my topic will be, um, are we ready to take a stand? So this actually uh, follows up my last Ignite Taipei talk. Uh, with that, me and my friend, Zach, we were... Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay so... We're, um, we were here uh, last time to challenge the audience with the question, are we making the world a better place one like at a time? And this time I'm going to talk about something similar too, and it's going to be focused on uh, the media. So I think pretty much everyone here can agree that the media plays a prevalent part uh, for everyday life today. So it feeds us all kinds of information to keep us in the know. To um, Keep, let us know, like, whatever, a lot of things that's been going on in the world, in every corner of the world. And so that's why, sorry, I think I'm a little bit fast, but that's why uh, the former U.S. President Thomas Jefferson once said, he said, uh, the only security of all is seeing free press. The force of public opinion cannot be resisted when permitted freely to be expressed. And the agitation it produces must be submitted to. It's necessary to keep the waters pure. So it's obvious from this quote that how much he emphasized the importance of the freedom of the press. Sadly, that didn't seem like the case today. So it feels like today the media is being controlled by only um, a small group of people. And then the, this small group of people um, controlling the media, resulting into like a media um, olig oligopoly in, Ta and in Taiwan. This is the case in Taiwan, of course, and it happens all over the world. And this is not something we want for our media because uh, it brings some undesired consequences. For example, the first one is the elimination of net uh, neutrality. So, okay. the influencing nature of the media um, because of the influ influencing nature of the media, so we don't we want it to stay neutral. So, uh, if a few business controls the media, they can influence the direction, and they they can influence what kind of content should be made available, and then to influence the public's um, political points of view. And secondly, if a few group of people controls the media, they'll um, uh, decrease the media diversity and then so the accountability and dependability of the media to serve the public interest will be compromised and lastly uh, a standardization of thoughts um, may happen because you know when a small group of people control or uh, own the media uh, on, on the outlet that has the potential to reach to the public it's very easy for them to uh, create in people's mindset um, like a single world view and then we basically in other word might be brainwashed without even realizing it and these are some examples of how media misleads us so uh, for for example in the Hong Kong protest you can see like the next day after the uh, education protest the not many newspapers actually published that and also this uh, recent case in Taiwan uh, st uh, a student from Tsinghua Dr. Chen Weiting um, so the newspaper misled us into thinking uh, he had some uh, inappropriate attitude toward the Minister of uh, Education and also uh, Another event in Taiwan lately was the Wang Wang uh, Jituan. So this is a very cool press presentation I found online which gives out a very clear overview of uh, everything that's been going on in a chronicle order. And online you can also find a lot of anti Wang Wang fan pages. So uh, if you're interested, I think you can just Google that and then you'll find a lot of other uh, sources. So lastly, I want to say, uh, so the U.S. Senate chaplain once said, so just give us clear vision that we may know 
where to stand and what to stand for because unless we stand for something we shall fall for anything so my conclusion for tonight is that we should uh, you know take a stand to fight this kind of media monopoly because you know this is not something we want so thank you very much for your attention tonight